So as far as the keys to success of aerobic training going, I think number one is to really, and it's tough for a coach to do, is to forget the army style, PE type lessons, fatigue model of aerobic training. It's not about that. It's not about smashing the body, making people run for 40 minutes, killing it at the end. That's not what aerobic training is about. Especially because you've got to live in the real world with your athlete. There's a good chance your athlete's going to, if you work with a school, you know, a guy who's in school, then, you know, what do, what do kids do in school? If you're good at sports, you're going to play rugby, you're going to play five aside football, you might play 11 aside football, you're going to run around with your mates. So you've got to look at where the aerobic training elements fit in. And doing, you know, 30 to 40 minute runs really doesn't help people, especially if they're doing other aerobic training. So the idea is to drop the volume and increase the quality. So we're not worried about how long people are running for. We're more worried about your athlete doing quality work at a good speed and then resting. So it's shorter sessions. And the key for all of this is about tempo running. The ability to control your pace, run at sub-maximal paces, and to understand the pace that you're running at is vital for your athlete to learn. If we're looking at the different phases that we've used, the first phase is just a base building phase, steady pace, three kilometers. So some days you might go maximal steady pace, but that's going to happen much further down the line. So if you're doing that week one, that's very unwise. So what we want to be doing is, you know, starting off with a comfortable tempo, get, you know, get a time, then developing it from there, always within the scope of what the athlete needs that day. Because you've got to remember your athlete is going to come in wildly different from day to day. So, you know, if his personal best for three kilometers is 13 minutes, then, you know, next Monday he might come in. But his personal best that day, if you were to make him run a time trial, is 13.20 because his energy is a bit down, a bit stiffer and so forth. So, you know, when you set artificial training times, already it becomes a bit of a myth because if when he was on full form he ran 13 minutes but now today in the gym with me he's at 13.20 pace then I can't ask him to run you know even 13.30 pace it's now going to be if that was my planned session to run 13.30 pace which is 30 seconds slower than his you know personal best but he's coming tired I'm now asking him to run you know 13.30 instead of 13.20 you know he might which is the new personal best he might struggle with that. So the point I'm making is, you know, steady pace, you're using tempo running, but you're always aware of what the athlete is feeling. So if your athlete is new to running or is poor aerobic wise, then his first goal is just to build up to three kilometers continuous without stopping. So, you know, initially it might be only 400 meter jog, then he walks. 400 meters, then he walks. But with time, he'll be able to build up this three kilometer base and then you'll really see as other elements of the game develop. So once you, you know, you, you, if you're a proficient runner already, then these three kilometer paces will just help create that higher fitness level. The second phase we'd look at is three kilometers. Again, we're looking for...